Hi, my name is Mr. Eric, and I'm a staff here at Girls Incorporated in Orange County, where we inspire all girls to be strong, smart, and bold. I'm here to read another book to you. I'm so excited to read it to you. It's called The Wind Blue. I want you to know that this book has an unexpected event that happens in it that affects a lot of people. And I feel like those happen to all of us. Has it ever happened to you? An unexpected event, event that's like affected you, but other people too? I mean, it could be bad or good. There's all kinds of events. Like for instance, you could be at a party and maybe somebody shows up that you didn't expect. And everybody's so excited because they haven't seen this person for years. That's one event. Um, another event you could have is maybe a bad one where a tornado comes through your community and that's really not good because it could damage buildings, maybe even hurt some people. So there's all kinds of events. And some events maybe aren't bad or good or good for some people and bad for other people. Like maybe some rain came and ruined your party or the rain came and, you know, watered the plants in the farmer's field. So events can happen and affect a lot of people over different areas, sometimes smaller areas. In this book, it affects a group of people. And we're going to learn about that. So I'm really excited. Super cute book, The Wind Blue. Um, let's do the anatomy of the book. Okay, we have our front cover, yes. Back cover, yes. Yeah. Spine, be very careful with the spine of a book. This one's just stapled on, so you have to be very careful. This book was written and illustrated by Pat Hutchins, and she wrote over two dozen books for kids. So inside the book, we have something that says The Wind Blue, just a little extra title there, and it shows some important pieces of information. It looks like things are blowing, so we obviously know this book is going to have some wind in it. And then you look at the main title page, and whoa, you can really see things are blowing. Here where I live in Southern California, we have winds called the Santa Ana winds, and they're very strong, and they are like this, very very windy, but this is definitely not happening in Southern California, as you will learn. Um, and it also has the publisher, which is Scholastic. The Wind Blue. Oh, that's the title of the book. And that is the first three words in the book. It took the umbrella from Mr. White and quickly turned it inside out. It snatched the balloon from little Priscilla and swept it up to join the umbrella. And not content, it took a hat and still not satisfied with that. It whipped a kite into the air and kept it spinning round up there. Before there was dryers that you plugged into the wall, guess what? You had to hang up your clothes to dry. And that's what that lady is doing. He grabbed a shirt left out to dry and tossed it upwards to the sky. It plucked a hanky from a nose and up and up and up it rose. A hanky, that's called a handkerchief. Hankies are short for handkerchief. And yeah, you use them to blow your nose. Oh man, and what's, okay, we are definitely in England because see this gentleman over here um, in front of that building? He's wearing a white wig. Now that's what people who are in the legal system wear when they are in England. So, hmm, we are definitely in England, I think, or the United Kingdom somewhere. All right. It lifted the wig from the judge's head and didn't drop it back. Instead, it whirled the postman's letters up as if it hadn't done enough. Now, who's this guy standing in a box? Oh, definitely is probably England because there is one of their soldiers. They're one of the people who protect the queen. Wow. But what could fly away from him? I wonder. <laughs> it blew so hard, it quickly stole a striped flag fluttering on a pole. It pulled the new scarves from the twins and tossed them to the other things. Very windy day, and this person standing with the newspapers 
It says news, gale force winds. That means gale force means really strong winds. And that's definitely what's happening right here in this book. <laughs> gale force winds. It sent the newspapers fluttering around, then tired of the things it found. It mixed them up and threw them down. Oh, <laughs> look at everybody got their stuff back, I think. Well, at least somebody got their stuff back because look, everything's all mixed up on everybody's head. The little girl has the hat on her head. There's a guy over there with the newspapers has an umbrella on his head. What a mess. Ooh, I would not want to be the guy with the hanky on his head. Ew. The last page says, and blew away to sea. So in this book, we saw that events can happen and affect a lot of people. Sometimes they can be good. Sometimes they can be bad. But I think one thing to always remember, whether it's a good event or a bad event, is to remember that you have control how you act during one of those events. So it looks like everybody helped everybody else get back their stuff. Instead of just running away with their own things, it looks like they help each other. So lots of times events that are bad can actually bring people together to help each other. And then sometimes when they're good, they can even bring the whole community even together even more, make them so excited. So you have control of how you act during one of these things. And remember, if you help somebody during maybe a time where they're going through a hard time, maybe there's something that's going to happen where they'll help you in the future. So remember, always help others. And when unexpected things happen, do your best to keep positive and to be helpful. All right. Well, that does it for this story at Girls Inc. of Orange County. And I cannot wait to tell you another story. It's coming soon. And until that moment happens, remember, you are strong, smart, and bold. Goodbye.